The FBI, along with the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia and the U.S. Department of State, added Vita Loam Innocent to its 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list on November 15, 2023. Vita Loam is the leader of the Crosse Barrier Gang, based out of Haiti. In 2021 and 2022, Vita Loam was allegedly involved in kidnapping U.S. citizens and holding them hostage. The U.S. State Department is offering a reward of up to $2 million for information leading to his arrest and or conviction. Tune in to this episode to learn more about Vita Loam and how you can help us catch this fugitive. I'm Ellen Ferrante, and this is Inside the FBI. Vita Lome is a leader of Croze Barrier, a gang that operates in the Torcel and Tabar areas of Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince. Croze Barrier also partners with other gangs, including one called 400 Boazo. The FBI estimates there are at least dozens of members between the Croze Barrier and 400 Boazo gangs. Mark McCormick is an assistant special agent in charge at the FBI Miami office, working to find Vita Loam. McCormick explains, These gangs are part of a loose coalition or umbrella of gangs that operate in and around Port-au-Prince. The 400 Mawazo and the Croze Barrier gangs operate under this coalition that's led by a gang member we refer to as Barbecue. They're very violent gangs, but they seek crimes of opportunity, such as kidnappings for ransom, which we refer to as KFRs, cargo theft, and other crimes where they can profit from them. They try to control very specific areas for each individual gang. So some will try to control the ports or even major roads in and out of Port-au-Prince in order to profit from those crimes of opportunity. The main goal is money, and so if they control the ports and what comes in and out of the ports, they can rob or take over the cargo and or rob people in and out of Port-au-Prince or even kidnap them and then hold them for ransom. They specifically seek out U.S. persons because there's a perceived wealth from U.S. persons, U.S. citizens traveling in and around Port-au-Prince. While these gangs have been around for years, they've recently become even more violent and protective of their territories. Due to the economic situation, the gangs do heavily recruit and they're very territorial. And so they work to defend that particular territory and they recruit from within that territory to control the major roads in and out of the region. Vito Loam came to the attention of the FBI in October 2021 when Croze Barrier and the 400 Mwazo gang allegedly kidnapped 16 U.S. citizens who were serving as Christian missionaries near Port-au-Prince. The group included five children. The youngest was eight months old. The hostages were allegedly held at gunpoint and most remained captive for 61 days before escaping. The U.S. Department of Justice and the District of Columbia charged Vita Lome and other gang leaders for their alleged roles in this conspiracy. Then, in October 2022, Vita Lome allegedly ordered gang members to kidnap two U.S. citizens from their home in Haiti. Armed gang members allegedly forced their way into the victim's residence and attempted to kidnap them. During the kidnapping, the gang members allegedly shot and killed one of the victims. The other victim was taken into captivity and held hostage at an undisclosed location in Haiti while Vita Lone participated in ransom negotiations in exchange for the victim's release. About three weeks later, the gang released the remaining victim after the victim's family paid a ransom. The District of Columbia charged Vita Lome for his alleged role in these crimes. Vita Lome has a very violent history. 
and he's very unpredictable. One of the things that makes him extremely dangerous is the number of gang members that he operates who also have a tendency towards violence, and they are very well armed. He, Vilom, has a lot of influence over the gangs, and he has shown violence towards U.S. persons to include kidnappings and even murder. The FBI has the full might of our investigative teams behind this investigation, and our resolve will not waver until Vitalom is brought to justice. Of course, like any fugitive, if he would choose to peacefully turn himself in, we would gladly welcome Vitalom's surrender. Vita Lom is 37 years old and has black hair and brown eyes. He is between 5'7 and 5'10 and weighs about 150 pounds. Vita Lom is believed to be in Haiti and has ties to other countries throughout the Caribbean. If you have any information concerning Vita Lom, please contact your local FBI office or the nearest American embassy or consulate or call the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI or 1-800-225-5324. You can also submit a tip online at tips.fbi.gov. Tipsters can remain anonymous. This has been another production of Inside the FBI. You can follow us on your favorite podcast player, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and YouTube. You can also subscribe to email alerts about new episodes at fbi.gov podcasts. I'm Ellen Ferrante from the FBI's Office of Public Affairs. Thanks for tuning in.